Sports Winner Buyers, Webster Style, Brian Saff from the NRW Checkpoint here with another NRW React. Now, Brian Webster, Hollywood just, they, <laughs> they, they, they cannot stop mining classic properties. Right. Um, I'm not necessarily upset, but this is a property that I think for many of us, especially if you love horror movies, mm -hmm. uh, it is very near and dear. But is it one that really works well in today's age? Well, we're going to find out. Um, as we go back to the exorcist with the exorcist <laughs> believer. Okay. Good day. Hey, be home by dinner. I love you. Good morning, Mr. Fielding. Good morning, Catherine. And here are your daughters, Angela and Catherine. It's about seven hours ago, and that's the last information we have. Catherine! Angela! If you can hear this, we love you. Please come home. That's the last piece of information I have. We and Catherine doing out there in those woods. You were just walking and walking. It's fine. Angela, can you tell your dad how long you were gone? A few hours. Baby, you've been gone three days. Mm. I do love how they uh -oh. had the interpolation of the original music. I didn't say nothing. I thought I heard you say something. Hey, baby. You okay? Whatever those girls went through brought something back with them. The body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Body in the blood? Body in the blood? Catherine. Body in the blood. The body in the blood. The body in mm -hmm. the blood. Catherine. The body in the blood. The body in the blood. <laughs> Hell no. I've seen anything like this. <laughs> On me? No. What? There are people out there who have. When the blood got someone in front of picture. You have some uh -huh. in possession. Yes, what can that like? I believe you can help get our girls back. Exorcism is a ritual. Every culture, every religion, they all use different methods. It's going to take all of them. Don't be scared. We've met before. Mother. What did you do? Catherine's heartbeat. They're beating in sync. God played a trick on you. Okay. Whew. Okay. Okay, now, this is actually my second time seeing this trailer. Okay. Uh, because I... I think I said before, I'm always a horror movies fan, and I remember right. the Exorcist as a child, and Exorcist 2, and I think the Exorcist 3, I didn't see the prequels that they did as a whole convoluted story between both of them. Mm -hmm. Watch some YouTube videos on it sometimes, it's really amazing how people just screw up movies. But, um, <laughs> so I was excited for this. I actually heard about this movie coming out a couple of days ago, uh, before okay. we taped this. So yeah. I actually saw the trailer for this, I think it was today or yesterday. Mm -hmm. I wasn't that high on it. Okay. Watching it again now, because my question is, why are you bringing Ellen Bernstein? Is, I think it's Ellen Bernstein. I forget her name. Um, but now that I watched the trailer again, I'm like, okay, I can understand that progression of her character since Reagan was possessed way back in the 70s. Um, mm. I forget the, the black guy's name, but I've, 
I've been a fan of his since he was on Person of Interest back in the day, even before he he became uh, more famous for Hamilton. I forget his name now. Uh, so mm -hmm. I feel like he's going to do a, a really great performance in this. But looking at this trailer again and really examining it, um, I hate the trailer unto itself. <laughs> I, I hate all the shakiness and the jumping and try to make you scared. And yeah, but I feel like there's a good, there could be a good movie there. I just feel like the trailer just doesn't do it. It, it, the trailer tries to tread too much on what people know, instead of using the exorcist brand to create a new identity, which is what it seems like it's trying to do. And mm. I feel like the trailer treads too much on the original exorcist movie. And what people have in their heads. Um, even going back to a couple months ago, we had the Evil Dead Rise. Uh, and again, particularly the trailer, because unfortunately I haven't seen the movie yet. It took that Evil Dead formula and everything you loved about Evil Dead, if you love the series, mm -hmm. but you saw in the trailer was something brand new and different than what you'd seen before. Okay. This trailer doesn't give me brand new and different with the exes. It just gives me two little girls, um, one black, one white that are now possessed. So that means you have two of those um, uh, non-angels that are possessing these girls. And clearly one is the original one from the first and then second movie was kind of weird. But this is what got me. And okay. maybe because of things that are happening in my personal life and with uh, family members people that i know uh -oh. the fact that no 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 not like that uh, <laughs> but when she talked about other religions mm -hmm. i am now keen to see okay if you're bringing other religions other spiritualities into it how accurately are you going to depict them mm -hmm. that's what i'm more curious about how okay. accurately you're going to depict them as far as their um their practice but also their belief when it comes to otherworldly creatures as right. well as possession and evil right that is what i'm that is what i'm more excited about because i want to see okay because hollywood sucks when it comes <laughs> to depicting other religions if it's not christianity right um, realistically and and, and they don't even do a good job of christianity that too they only do um, Islam right when it's actually people who practice the faith, who are part of the production and or directing, like a la Miss Marvel. Um, mm, right, right, right. Typically, they don't do that right. So I'm very curious to see if they get that part, because it seems like it's going to be a main part of the story, mm -hmm. if they get that part right. That's yeah. what I'm curious about. I also hope that they don't load it with stupid CGI. Mm. Well... <laughs> we, are, we got, got got a little bit in the trailer already so well i, I think that was more for, for the trailer not so much for the the movie itself i hope but when with well, the exorcist is what 73 no got yeah, me i mean the exorcist is probably 50 years been old around now. it been around yeah, i mean you're talking about a movie that yes it looks like a movie from 1973 but the special effects and how they did things they're still teaching classes on that now. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It did it, it changed the game with the the way they yeah. do special effects for at least for yeah. horror films. Anyway. It's 73. So the Exorcist is 50 years old. Yeah. Um, it's she ain't ready to go old. back home yet. Right. Right. <laughs> so uh, Brian, are you a fan of the Exorcist series at all? Um, no, I'm not, but <laughs> I am aware of the Exorcist series, obviously, because it's been such a mainstay in mm -hmm. the horror genre. And I have like an ex. Uh, she's really into um, horror and, and all that stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure she got me to sit through like two movies where um, and I, there is a story there that is very. Right. I don't know. I'm, I'm interested because I want to understand like out there. We 50 years now on the line, you still possessing full. Like, what's going on? What what are you tied to here on this earth that's not letting you just rest right. easy? So I'm 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 curious with the overall story, but I'm no, I'm not a fan. I actually want to see this movie though. And but that's only because that's only because um Universal just announced that the new well, the one of the the houses for Halloween Horror Nights is gonna be 
geared towards this one. Ah, nice. Okay. So I want to see like what's going on in this movie so that I can catch the references when I'm walking through the house. Cause I I don't go every year, but I try to I make it a point to try to go to the house. I'd really like that side of um horror being immersed in it. I might not be able to sit through, you know, movies and watch television shows, but like being at those kind of events where they can like bring that stuff to life. I really, really enjoy that. So mm-hmm. I think I'm a, I think I'm gonna check this movie. I don't know because <laughs> I'm not okay. I won't play with those that side of the <laughs> the realm. But I don't know. The the trailer looks interesting though for the reason that you brought up, because I've never seen out of, out of all of the exorcism and exorcists that I know of, I've never seen it like two at one time right. in this kind of like succinct way. So I'm interested to see like how that story uh pushes the overall like IP forward because obviously, you know, they talking about two people being possessed at one time. I don't think they're gonna stop making Exorcist movies anytime soon. So I'm interested to see like are these two um paranormal exorcist uh monsters or whatever, are they gonna branch and yeah. do their own things as far as movies? Like yeah. I'm re- I want to see like how this story sets up future movies to come yeah and especially it, when i'm bringing back the lady from the older ones i'm like, right okay. well and as i just remember leslie odom jr jr is the actor's name so okay so, right, yeah. but, so i'm reading apparently they're doing a halloween and with this what i mean is this movie serves as direct sequel to 1973's exorcist so they're okay. acting like exorcist 2 and exorcist 3 um don't exist now the other two movies they're actually a prequel to the original so i guess they technically exist because mm-hmm. exorcist 2 is weird okay. Jim Joel jones is in it they have pseudo sort of african stuff and then again i haven't seen that movie since i was a kid but i know if i watch it now i'll be like what the hell is this <laughs> um so it's a direct sequel to the original so they're doing like the past couple halloween movies where they bypass halloween or what two four five six h2o resurrection and whatever else came after and just like they don't exist we're just going with our own halloween movies direct sequel so right this will be interesting um because i was also wondering if they're talking about other religions would there be a tie into the exorcist 2 mm-hmm. but since there's a direct sequel, no, there isn't going to be. So I'm a little disappointed with that because I was curious to see. But I mean, it could though, right? N- no, if well, it could, but it's a direct sequel to the original. So that means the the, the one that we have in canon doesn't mm-hmm. exist. Okay, because so. I'm thinking the way she the way she like brought that up. Yeah, they could possibly, you know, what I'm saying connect that to number two or whatever. Being that number two is a prequel, right? No, 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 no. Um, four and five are it's it's so weird okay. like they did a prequel <laughs> and then have releasing two different versions of it like okay. a year apart uh-huh. <laughs> okay so, but that's a prequel but three is a sequel um and it three is a sequel and it has the original young priest mm. and he becomes possessed okay um and george c scott is in it, and i forget who else is in it hmm. so yeah so that's how takes one take <laughs> one the exorcist uh believer drop in in october you know spooky season uh yeah. make sure you stay tuned to nerds rule the world for all of your latest reactions uh to all of the, the hip movies that are coming out make sure you follow us for more information on x <laughs> i'm gonna keep doing that it's so fun um at the nrw on instagram and new Year's wednesday and of course you're currently on youtube so make sure you like share and subscribe and stay prayed up because yes. exorcism all right now <laughs>